welcome back. Yes, I'm eating again. So as is often the case with this game, this is just a, a smattering of different hunts that I'm doing randomly. Um, currently I'm tasked with talking to the third fleet master person. I think that's at the research base, but I don't feel like doing that right now. So we're going to do a couple of these dumb optional quests just to get them out of the way. So I don't know if it's said anywhere, but I'm hunting a great Gyros lizard in the rotten stinky veil. Uh, I, hate, I hate this level. Oh! <laughs> thing exploded. <clears throat> uh, yeah, so we're hunting a great Gyros lizard. It's a stinky bitch. And I gotta go down here. He's down here somewhere. He's got a little lair. These are probably his footprints that I'm missing all over the place. I don't... Okay. If you say so. There's the Legiana corpse. I'm not gonna mess with it because I don't need to. Where's the. Oh, is this the great one here? I'm like, where's the great one? You can actually get the, uh, the little baby guys to be, I think, tail riders, I think. Whatever, you, whatever they're called. I don't know. You have to get the Grimlock kinds to help you out. So his whole thing is he's got minions, and I was just about to say he can paralyze you. You can't even hit me. You're not even hitting me. What? So yeah, he's got little minion guys that help, like, help him fight. Which is kind of dumb. Um, not a big, huge deal, but yeah, he's got little, little minion boys that help fight with him, and and he can paralyze you. That's pretty much it. You know what's funny? Since playing this game on PC, I feel like there's like little blood spats that come out when you attack, and I never noticed that before on the PS4. It's very, very subtle, but I feel like every time I hit him, there's like a little bit of like blood spurt kind of coming out. It's kind of interesting. Maybe I'm just making it up. Maybe my eyes are going bad. My eyes are already bad, but maybe they're getting worse. I don't know. But I'm just saying, like, it's just, I don't know. It looks like there's... No, oh, he's mad. I can soften him up, though. Nope. Never mind. In fairness, bro, you've like done the most damage to me other outside of like any monster that I've fought so far in this game. <laughs> oh, and there goes the bigger wasp, so we're good. <laughs> he's he's gotta be dead soon. I'm just pummeling this son of a bitch. <laughs> Ouch! I wouldn't, want, I wouldn't want to flex with no lizard like this. This dude's like the the lesser version of the Odegaron. Odegaron is a fucking bitch and a half to fight. Because he uh, he's so aggressive. This dude, he's aggressive, but he's not that aggressive. Oh, that didn't work. What are you doing? Okay. Well, here's your little home. Here's your posse. <laughs> oh, he's dead. <laughs> See, I knew he was gonna die soon. <laughs> I knew he. Was, I knew he was. Like I was like demolishing this guy. You know, th this series so far makes me look like I'm amazing at this game, but in reality, I get. I, I found out, or somebody had said it online, that the 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 defender set is or was something that they had kind of introduced into the game um, as a means of getting through the low rank stuff quicker, I guess. Which would explain why 
a lot of these earlier quests are so much simpler than I remember them being. Um, I mean, obviously the the Guardian set is incredibly good for low rank. It's arguably got like high rank level of defense, <laughs> you know. Ew. That ain't no filter. That's just like the geometry, like getting all weird because <laughs> of the effluvium. Well, anyway, there's that one. Ooh, I got some thunder sacks. That was under four minutes. That's incredible. That whole thing was less than four minutes. Uh, so, I guess what I'm gonna do next is they've got a capture mission. I guess I'll just do that. So I gotta capture a plow plow moo. Paulumu. I can't fucking say that name. Uh, yeah, and then we'll use a voucher on this one because that'll give that'll get us a cool like ten grand plus. So, yeah, this has been a real kind of loose playthrough of this game. I don't even know if I'm gonna finish it on the channel or anything like that, but. I've skipped some of the story beats, so you're not going to get the full story. Sorry, guys, but as if the story is really that <laughs> integral to the game. <laughs> the last time I played it, there's like a character that saves you um, after you get like attacked in the Coral Highlands or something. And then like she appears again later. And then they're like, it's you! And then she's like, it's like a perfect opportunity for them to introduce the character with like a name, and they just don't do it. Because nobody, nobody in this game has a name for some reason. And it makes no sense to me why, why they did it that way. It takes two seconds to give people names, and they just didn't do it. Like, because, I don't know, the game already has a lot of personality with, like, the character designs and the monsters and stuff like that. And, like, yeah, obviously there's, like, recurring characters. And yet, they didn't take the two seconds that it would take to name each character. Like, who, like, they, there must have been some kind of, like, um, there must have been some kind of, like, uh, prototype names for these characters or like code names or something like that or something like during the development because obviously they like made the characters the way that they are like they put the time and effort into making them look unique from one another so why not give them names like they must have had working names you know like here's Franklin here's Ted here's Leonard like whatever you know but they didn't do that. There you are. I was looking for you. And you came to me. So that's nice. Prepare to die. Well, actually, you're not going to be killed. I have to capture you. But prepare to die. <laughs> pre 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 prepare to die. Oh... I haven't gotten the uh, the demon drug or armor skin yet, because frankly I don't need it at this point in the game. But at some point I will. Or I'd like to have it anyway. Is that necessary? Must you do that? Oh, you're an angry boy. You're about to get fucking hit in the face. <laughs> Now the only thing is, I don't think I got enough research levels of him, so he I might not know exactly when he's about to die. Oh my god, dude. 
I am jacking you up. Well, I hope I don't kill him. We'll know when he's hurt if he flees. But I don't I haven't gotten enough of like I didn't get enough of his like footprints or anything to know. Like, because I think if you if you have it high enough, you'll see like that little that little uh, skull icon will appear, uh, will appear in the mini map when he's near death, and that is obviously the opportune time to um, to capture him. So I don't know. Usually I'm pretty good with this type of shit, but we'll see. Get down here. F fucking fart. I'll try not to go too heavy on it because it's like I don't want to kill him. Oh, he's leaving. We don't want to kill. We just want to severely injure. See, there's a difference. I don't want him to die. I just want him to be near death. Like, literally beat him to within an inch of his life, and then... <laughs> be like, you're gonna live the rest of your life in, ca in captivity, and then we're going to kill you. <laughs> That's what's gonna happen. That... <laughs> that is what you were destined for. You stupid, floating, puffy bitch. <laughs> Hey, Vigor Wasp, boy. You missed. You missed me. I don't know how you missed me, but you did. I'd like this Vigor Wasp, please. Thank you. Oh, fuck off. Why are you here? If only I had a poo pod. But I don't. Oh. No, well, he left anyway, so it's fine. Oh, he's he's hurting for a squirting. No, that, sh that was my perfect opportunity to get him, and I just let him fly away. He's probably going to go to his, uh, his lair. Let's see where he's going. Yeah, he's going to his lair. I will meet you there for your inevitable capture. Oh, did I ever did I ever capture a sleep toad? Let's fucking get one. Let's get him. Oh, maybe. Well, either way, here we go. I'm gonna wait for him to go to sleep, and then I'm gonna fucking shock his ass, and then I'm gonna put it back to sleep. Is he up there? Yeah, he's up there. Here we go. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is just how easy it is. And that's just how easy it is to capture a fucking plumu. There you go. Oh, look at how peaceful he is. I should chop his fucking head off. <laughs> but I'm not gonna. I would, though. If I didn't have to capture him, I totally would have fucking cut his goddamn head off, but... <laughs> Game's not graphic enough for that. <laughs> That'd be pretty sweet, though. Six and a half minutes, man. Damn, I'm good. I'm, I'm, so, I'm so good at this game, dude. Holy shit. <laughs> I guess we're descending into the Rotten Vale. I don't remember what this is, so the last episode was really short, so maybe I'll tag this on to that one, although this is probably going to be longer than 15 minutes, but let's check it out. We'll see what I can pull together here.
It smells like doogie. Hey, why'd your outfit go back to normal? Is the, sp is the spring blossom bloomier event over? Guess so. <laughs> it is poopy. See, like, she should have a name. Like, she's got a unique look. There's only one of her in the game. She should have a name. Chelsea should have a fucking name, but her name is Handler. I just call her Chelsea because Chelsea Handler, but... Chelsea's the only one I actually refer to by name. <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, they're fully voiceovered. Not well, maybe not fully, but they're voiceovered. They have a voice actor slash actress. They have a unique look. You see them throughout the game. They should have a name. I wonder if there's a mod for that. <laughs> the poopy is too stinky. Oh, a Lugiana. It's like it's like Lugia basically. That actually be pretty sweet if they did like a if they did like a um a Pokemon Monster Hunter crossover. I'd actually be into that kind of. Like I don't give a shit about Pokemon, but that would be kind of funny. Like a fucking Pokemon comes out and you beat the shit out of it like there's a Charizard and you just fucking demolish it. <laughs> that would actually be pretty sweet. The design of the airship is stupid too because it's like a boat but it's like with like this. Did you construct it to be like oriented like that? It just doesn't make any sense. Whatever. So what, now I gotta fight a Legiana, huh? Okay. Yeah, I could do that. <laughs> yeah, I can, I can do that. Let's do it. I'm like about to, like, vom in my mouth. What? Oh, it's a special arena. I, I, I'm not doing that. Fuck you. I don't know why you just added that. All right, let's do another voucher because I gotta use them up. Yeah, dog, yeah. So I'm just sticking with the set that I have because it's it does the most damage and I've got the most defense. Though I don't know if this armor set has any ice defense. I'm not sure. I would have to look. Do it. Do it. It's got 10 ice, okay. That's not bad. Oh, I should go to the other camp. Do we have the other camp? Is that a thing? Yeah, let's go there. Because that's where he's at. More than likely. Did I eat? You tell me this every time, you know. And I skip it every time. I don't know why you tell me that. I know. I know that it serves food. I get food from it every time. Well, most of the time. Usually I eat before I even leave, but because you don't want to forget to eat. You're missing out on a lot of great stat bonuses and shit if you don't eat. I don't... I'm curious to know if there's any anybody who um, actively tries to get different like abilities and stuff through the food. Because I sure as shit don't. I just go for like the chef's choice platter every time. I don't cons I've never constructed a plate. I have never done anything like that because I just don't see the point. It it you know, you get stat buffs. It doesn't matter. That's like the one That's like the one thing I would say is probably like uh shut up, dude. 
You just did that. That's the one thing that I would say is kind of... Oh my god. <laughs> is kind of pointless in the game. I've always, I've always said that there's nothing that's pointless in this game. And for the most part, I'd still say that that's true. Like, there is a point to, to having, like, you know, the ability to customize your plate and stuff when you make food. Or when you order food. But, like, I feel like that is really splitting hairs. Generally speaking, you don't have to worry about that type of thing, I would say. But some someone might say otherwise. I'm sure if you have a specific playstyle, or you're going up against a specific monster... There's maybe certain uh, like um, attributes that are more desirable than others, but for me, like you know, it's it's always a random effect most of the time anyway. I think, isn't it? I don't know. I know like you can see which potential abilities you will get from the food and whatnot, but I don't even bother. I'm like, what the fuck ever. It makes no difference. <laughs> as far as as far as I'm concerned, it makes no difference. The main thing for me is that you get more health and you get more stamina. That's it. <laughs> I should look into it though. Maybe I should actually like pay attention to it and, and do it one time and just see. Like, maybe I should construct a plate and see what we get. You know, I might find a good combination. I should try that sometime. Because the ingredients are different every time you get food too, I think, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know. Alright, let's charge let's charge this up. Let's get my let's get my shield charged here. You know? I don't ever do that, because I'm like too busy just trying to dodge an attack and stuff. So let's let's try and get uh, like a full charge going here. These effects are awesome. You missed me, boy. Ow. Oh, shut up. I'm fine. Ow! No, I'm fine. I wanted to get the Vigor Wasp. <laughs> You know what? Legion is no joke, man. Legion is no friggin' joke. Yeah, I just want to get that charged up. There we go. This motherfucker flies all over the goddamn place and whatever. It'd be nice if I had some null berries, but I don't have any. I usually just leave that to like getting them inside the, the level. Do I have the easy ones? Yeah, give me an easy ration real quick. Give me a little bit more stamina. All right, dog. All right, I see how it is. Where's he going? Oh, he's going down there. Whoa, jeez. <laughs> okay, is that an old beer there? Fuck yeah, dude. There we go. Taste my dick, and I missed. <laughs> Wasn't even anywhere close to hitting it. <laughs> That's all right. All right, we gotta ground you. We gotta get you. All right, perfect. Yeah, you did it yourself. Thanks. Oh, baby, don't you dare, you bitch, you fucking bitch, you bitch. Why did you do that? Right as I'm doing my ultra mega attack, you do that, like a bitch. I fucking hate. I fucking hate you. Oh, well, there you go. Never mind. Gives me another opportunity to do it. Well, that didn't do as much as I would have liked, but whatever. Pretty sure we can cut his tail off, too. I'd like to get this tail. That'd be nice. Isn't Legiana like the flagship monster for Iceborne 2? Right. I don't actually think it is. I think it's Valkana or something. It's an Elder Dragon. 
the lake. Oh, boy. Can I get you to... Yep. Suck it. I can get you to suck it. I should fucking destroy your wings, but I want your tail. Why are you doing that? You got no reason to do that shit. Oh, you fucker. Give me... Give me your fucking tail, dude. Vigor Wasp is and always will be the best Calico gadget. Change my mind. <laughs> the other ones are cool, don't get me wrong, but like... Bigger Wasp, Bigger Wasp Spray, number one. I know I got no charge, but hit him anyway. Hey! Oh, I'm missing like crazy. I can actually use these. Gooch. The annoying thing is, is when he inevitably decides to flee because he's a puss, he goes all the way up to the top. And getting to the top is kind of annoying. Give me that tail, baby. Not in that way. Yeah, see, so he's going to go all the way up. So getting to the top is annoying. It is very annoying. I know, I could just fucking attack him now. But he's gonna fly. Yeah, he's gonna fly away. And he's gonna go way up high. And he's gonna go way up to the tippy top of this fucking shit spire here. Witch Bizzle. You still have to climb a lot. <laughs> wow. Yeah, he's sleeping up here. There's a couple mining outcrops. I'm going to hit these up before I kill this fool. I'm obviously pretty confident in my ability to murder this fucking guy. I want that tail, though. I want that fucking tail, so I am going to get it. I'm going to get that fucking tail. <laughs> <laughs> Give it to me. Give it to me. Yes. <laughs> Give it to me, dude. Maybe you can cut off his tail. I don't remember. I feel like you can, though. I want it. Don't you freaking screech at me, boy. Alright. Oh, well, he's dead. Well. Alright, now we can go play in poop. Poor guy. I feel like if you ever came across a creature like that, the last thing you'd want to do is kill it, because it's like, holy shit, that thing's amazing. But humanity, you know, humanity must kill everything that it comes across, so. Let's do it. See, it's so high up you can't even see it. What a screenshot for it to end on. Oh my god. Wow. That's pretty sweet.
That's actually really cool. <laughs> he is so hyper extending, like his mouth. That's insane. And I just smacked him right in the face with my fucking giant axe. <laughs> That's crazy looking. I was not expecting that. New safari locales, new cutscene, new upgrade level is now available for armor. Too bad I can't upgrade my armor. Alright, well, no big cutscene. Alright, well, next time on Chinstrap Chap, we continue killing innocent monsters. Okay.